Smith in the snow. Look for the fresh prints. <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to my channel. Excuse my uh, messy hair and my face with no makeup on because today I decided to do a get ready with me video because I'm going to be on grocery concert tonight and I thought what better way to see what I look like than doing a get ready with me video because I love these kind of videos and I think they're really cool to film and I'm really excited with it. I'm really excited about the concert. So keep watching. So here I'm just using my Miracle 11 treatment with a Remington hair dryer. Um, it looks like I take a while to dry my hair, but actually it does take a while. Um, my hair, for some reason, takes ages to dry and the actual whole clip is about 10 minutes long. But obviously I cut a bit of it out because... You don't want to see me brush, brushing and blow drying my hair for 10 minutes. And there I hit myself with the hair dryer into my earring, which I just got done a few weeks ago. So that was, um, yeah, and just have it with the gem along. Um, I, yeah, I only use this as the uh, Miracle hair treatment and also just a bit of heat protectant in it as well. Not too much, just the Miracle treatment just seems to actually add the heat protectant as well. So that is mainly the only really thing I use when I am blow drying my hair. So here I'm just using a Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer with a Real Technique foundation brush and I'm just putting a small amount of this all over my face and this is actually quite orange based so I don't want to put too much on because it does take a while to sink into the skin. But it actually, it really helps you keep your makeup stay on and it is cheap and affordable and a really great product. And now I'm just using my Maybelline BB Cream. I use this instead of a foundation when it's hot because it stays on easier and it's not as thick as a foundation. And when it's hot, I don't like to use a thick foundation because it's too harsh on my skin and using the same um, Real Techniques foundation brush here as well. And now I'm just using an e.l.f. concealer. I actually have this in the stick form and also in the liquid form, but I prefer the stick one better because I feel like you can actually uh, use it better more and move it more on your face, and the liquid one just seems to smudge into your face and make more of a mess and not conceal everything. And I'm using the same foundation brush or real techniques here as well. Now I'm just using a blue brush brush from Real Techniques and I'm applying just a BYS um, powder because I don't have any of my, I normally use Fit Me by Bow Maybelline and I don't have any left so I'm just using that one which does a job. And now a bronzer by Maybelline and just using the same blush brush and just doing a circle three from my forehead, my cheeks and just around my jawline just creating a number three. And here we go for the close-up. Now I'm just using a Maybelline eyeshadow quad and I'm using the top and the bottom browns just to fill in my eyebrows. And I actually realised once I finished makeup that my eyebrows were way too browny pink and you can only tell if you're close up but I did stuff them up but it wasn't too bad. But just make sure you have natural lighting when you're doing your eyebrows people. Now here I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm going to be using this all for my eyelids and my eyeshadow and I did do my eyeshadow quite a bit darker than I normally do and I sort of did stuff it up so I had to cover it up with a bit of Strange all over the top of it because it was way too dark. I put too much Nuna and too much Lya on the top. And it made it very dark, as you can see here. It's blending that up, brown out because it was way too purple, like the dark purple. And now I'm just going to over top with Buzz, which is my favorite of the glitter um, eyeshadows. And I'm just applying that all over the lid, but not too much because it is very good underneath the eye and it does create a bit of a ebra color look. And now I'm just killing my eyelashes with this. Highlight that I don't normally wear. Right, guy, it's just a cheap 
lash curl. So I'm just curling my eyelashes. And now I'm now I'm just using a Maybelline eye my a mascara and also a Model Co mascara, but I'm just using the lashes, the false eyelash uh, fibers. I'm just applying it to my eyelashes, a bit of mascara, and then applying the fibers on top, and then applying more mascara, and then my fibers on top. I normally do this three times, and then I just repeated the process on my other eye. Now I'm just doing my hair. I was actually planning on having it down but I realized that it was going to be way too hot to have it down and I hate having my hair on my face and my neck so I just decided to put it up in a high bun. I just pulled on my hair back made sure it was all nice and smooth and when I did my buns I like to tease the crap out of it but I washed it the day before and it wasn't teasing as high as I would like so we didn't get the volume in there too much but a bit of hairspray in there makes it stay up and right and you can always fake the look of a massive bun which just pushing up with some bow pins which is what I like to do and that was what I did for my hair. Straighten the ends, frame your face and then that was it. So I am now ready for the concert. I'm leaving soon. Oh, I'm leaving soon. I hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me video. I am currently wearing a lovely dress from Groovery. It's a scuba print with flare on the dress. Um, I'll leave a picture up. Put a picture up and set it now of what I look like, and I hope you enjoy that video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and leave a comment. Leave a comment below. <laughs> leave a comment below if anything else you'd like to see me do. I've been waiting for this one for a very long time, so please make it as good as you can.